Thank you, Janelle. Now I have some more questions from fans who wrote in to CBS.com. Maggie? Yeah? You look great. And the fans want to know, what have you been doing to lose weight? Ooh. Great. Um, <laughs> I've been running every day and working out just since I've been here. And just being around these wonderful people has really helped. Lots of laughs. <laughs>, laughs. Lots of laughter. Lots of laughter. Okay. Thanks, Maggie. Yvette? Yes? If you win HOH, what is the one thing you want to have waiting for you in the HOH bedroom? A picture of my beautiful girlfriend who I miss more than you can ever imagine. Aww. Thank you, Yvette. Bo, love your hat. Thanks. Well, had it on. Uh, it yeah, what happened to it? Okay, <laughs> you can leave it off if you want. Thanks. Okay. All right, here's one from a viewer. Which fellow house guest, including the ones already evicted, uh -huh. would be the worst permanent roommate and oh why? My gosh. Um, <laughs> I'd have to say Howie because he. Well, she, even, even including the oh. evicted ones. Cool. Um, I have to say Howie because he's, um, you know, all of his stuff is like all the way around. Actually, no, I'll take that back, Janelle. <laughs> <laughs> she, her, her stuff is all over the house. It's totally like, you know, in every 250 different places in the house. So this, that, would, that would get on my nerves. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Bo. Thank you, everyone. And I'll be back to talk with you a little bit later. <laughs> when we return, she was the target of Howie's anger. But after winning HOH and the golden power of veto, April is riding a wave of victories. What secrets can her family and friends tell us about the April we don't know? And what does her husband have to say about Howie's verbal attack on his wife? Welcome back. It's been quite a week for April, from head of household to the golden power of veto. She has proven to be a powerful player in the game. What can her family and friends tell us about April outside the Big Brother house? And what does her husband think about the way Howie treated his wife? I don't trust anyone this bad, okay? Sorry, bottom line. The bottom line is, the bottom line is, is it makes me so sad. So the deal is, the deal is, is, the deal is, is I know this is a game. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? And all we do is repeat ourselves. You know what I'm saying? You know? You know what I'm saying? Don't say too much. You don't even need to say too much. I know, but sometimes you, you talk too much. From the beginning yeah. of, of college, we were sorority sisters, pledge Pledges. sisters. We lived together. She made our college experience <laughs> what it was. Did she graduate magna cum laude? I mean, she's extremely intelligent. She's um, one of a kind. She is one of a kind. Will you listen to me real quick? I don't like bringing out people's like weaknesses, but... Me. I didn't say she was a slut. I don't care. Well, I win Put the HOH Thursday. Shut your mouth sometimes. So you know, there are things she says, I'm like, don't say that. Yeah. She's just a bitch. Like she's a conniving, straight up bitch. Being more vocal may be April's downfall. Every time I see April talk, every time I, I look at her, I get so disgusted. She's a idiot. They sit around and talk about April. I can't say that it makes me happy, but I understand that if you can team up against one person, then that helps create, you know, a bond between you because you have a common enemy. From the kickoff of the show, I thought Howie was real funny. I thought he was goofball and added a light mood to the show and helped out a lot. But now I've seen a darker side of him, and, and you know what? I don't, I don't like him. So now they probably hate you. How do you feel that America hates you, April? Busto for short. I don't appreciate what he did to my wife. Who has the better life outside of here, you or I? I think I do. Way yeah. better. Yeah, you stuck with you and your fat hubby and your ugly dog? I'm big bones, but I'm not fat, okay? So I just want to say that. 50 more days, Busto. That's a long time without pepperoni. Without your fat husband. You want some of this, Ali? Huh? You want some of this? Want a little party cake? Is that what you're looking for? Huh? Hey, we making pizza tonight, guys? Want to make some of that homemade pizza that we made? We get pepperoni for that. An ugly dog. I want a pepperoni pizza. Where can I get some pepperoni for it, huh? Oh, pepperoni. Howie didn't mean to say that about you, buddy. He, he's not going to eat you. It's okay. It's okay, buddy. He didn't mean to. Not a great physical competitor, but she's obviously still in the game. April, congratulations. You are the new head of household. I'm very psyched to see April coming back. She just won Hell of Household. And uh, in the veto competition, you see, she kicked it up a notch. And we are about to have a winner. She's in there in the mud, up to her elbows, digging around, pulling keys out. And so, yeah, she did real great. She's, you know, 
G.I. Jane. It does hurt my feelings that I'm looked at as a weak player. Howie, James, and you know, have uh, labeled April as one of the weaker players in the game. And, and you know, you can put quotes around that because, you know, weak's a matter of opinion. Because people think that I'm a weak player, all it does is make me want to step up my game even more. Even more. I think April's doing great in the game. <laughs> I think she's got a real good shot of being there at the end. It's time to talk with April, the current head of household who is alone in the HOH bedroom. Hi, April. Hello, Julie. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Good. Now, just a reminder, your fellow housemates cannot hear this conversation, so okay. feel free to speak your mind. Okay. All right. Now, some of your housemates question your competitiveness in this game. Mm -hmm. However, this week, you won HOH and the Golden Power Veto. Yeah. Was it your strategy at the beginning of the game to just fly under the radar? Um, you know what, Julie, it absolutely was. <laughs> um, I wanted just to really come in here for Jennifer and the experience and to meet friends and to really just kind of do my thing, fly underneath the radar. And uh, not that I didn't think I was going to make it this far, but if I did, that was great. And if I didn't, I was okay because I have a wonderful life outside of this. But the minute I had to step it up, I stepped it up. And that's why I think that I won HOH and Power Vito in one week. Well, with Jennifer gone... Yeah. It appears that you and Maggie have teamed up. Is Maggie your new partner? Maggie is my new partner. Um, we're trying to keep that a little under wraps right now just because um, after, you know, if everything goes as planned um, and if, if James leaves tonight, then there will be pairs. So Maggie's a very strong player in this game, and I feel that I've definitely stepped it up, and her and I are going to have to definitely pair up. Now, Yvette is part of your alliance, but recently you questioned her loyalty and her relationship with James. Where do things stand between you and Yvette? You know what, I love Yvette to death. Yvette and I are so similar, and I think that's why we butt heads so much, but um, I know each and every day I see where Yvette's loyalty is, and the reason she cares about James is, James is because she does have a huge, huge heart, and I really, but I really do believe her loyalty does stand with the friendship, and um, I have faith 110% that she'll stay with us. Okay. Thank you, April, and you can Thanks. head back downstairs to the living room. Okay. Thank you, Julie. You're welcome. When we return, Jennifer and Rachel are no longer eligible to win the grand prize, but they will have a say in picking the winner of Big Brother 6. Tonight, you'll get a first look at what life is like in the jury house. Stay with us. Tonight, the house guests will learn that this is another double eviction week. After winning head of household, the new HOH must immediately nominate two people for eviction live. And within 48 hours, another person will be sent packing. But first, they were on opposite sides of a house divided. Now, Jennifer and Rachel find themselves living together in the jury house. How did Jennifer react when Rachel showed up? The last few days in sequester have been a lot of fun and really relaxing. It's like a vacation because I don't have to think about game and strategy anymore. The sequester house is great. Just the atmosphere and the scenery is wonderful. But after you've relaxed for a couple of days, you, you kind of miss the house and all the excitement that goes along with it. Obviously, I hope to see someone from the other group, but if Rachel showed up, God, she's so boring. There's nothing to say about her. She's probably the one I want to see the least. Hey! Hey! I'm so excited! <laughs> Jennifer and I never really got along in the house. It was interesting to see her reaction. Good to see you. Good to see you too. Let me take you back and let me show you the house. Oh, I love this. This is great. Look, we've got little fish. That's really beautiful. Great. I love it. This is my room. Wow, this is nice. This is probably one of the biggest rooms in this house. <laughs> okay, here's to being jury members. Can't wait to see who's coming next week. Oh, Jennifer.